Will you enter into a spirit of prayer with me? Gracious God, we thank you for the blessing of this evening and all of the promise that it holds. We thank you for planting the seeds of integrity, civility, and responsibility within the heart of each student. We thank you for California University of Pennsylvania, which tended and nurtured these characteristics, along with wisdom, laughter, and deeper self-understanding. Make sacred these moments we share together, celebrating each accomplishment. Hear our silent memories as offerings of thanksgiving. May every moment spent in study blossom into bold action for the common good, and may each of us never lose sight of the brilliant potential left in our keeping. Amen. You may be seated. Good evening, and welcome to California University of Pennsylvania's 177th Commencement Celebration. I'm Dr. Bruce Barnhart, Acting Provost of California University of Pennsylvania, and it's my pleasure to introduce members of the Platform Party and several other persons here with us today. I will begin introductions with those seated in the back row and ask each person to stand as his or her name is called. And may I ask that you, the audience, hold your applause until everyone is introduced. Dr. Carol Sheffield, Associate Provost. Mr. Douglas Hoover, Dean of Library Services. Dr. John Callis, Interim Dean, Eberly College of Science and Technology. Dr. Mohamed Yamba, Dean, College of Liberal Arts. Dr. Kevin Corey, Dean, College of Education and Human Services. Dr. Stanley Kamasik, Dean, School of Graduate Studies and Research and Associate Provost. Dr. Nancy Pinardi, Interim Vice President for Student Affairs. Dr. Charles Mance, Vice President for University Technology Services. Mrs. Fawn Petrosky, Associate Vice President for Finance. Mr. Craig Butzin, Vice President for Marketing and University Relations, Interim Vice President for University Development and Alumni Relations. Ms. Chelsea Getze, Student Government President. The Reverend Jana Quisenberry, Pastor, California United Christian Church. Dr. Catherine Mitchum, Professor, Professor and Edith L. Trees Endowed Chair, Department of Special Education, and tonight's Herald. Dr. William Biddington, Professor, Department of Exercise Science and Sports Studies, and Faculty Marshal. Mr. Kem Kembia Munsanje, Student Member, Council of Trustees. Mr. Michael Napolitano, Class of 1968, Member, Council of Trustees. Mr. Dante Morelli, Class of 2002, and tonight's guest speaker. Geraldine M. Jones, Interim University President, California University of Pennsylvania. Representatives from the Alumni Association who will be presenting alumni pins to the graduates are seated to my left. Mrs. Kathy Connolly, class of 1995 and 1996 and director of major gifts. Mrs. Leslie Fleener, class of 2008, director of alumni relations. Okay. Under the direction of Dr. Hugo Eikach, the University Choir will now present Glory to God by George Frederick Handel.
University Trustees, Reverend Quisenberry, Mr. Morelli, distinguished guests, parents, and family members, and master's candidates of the graduating class of 2013, welcome to California University of Pennsylvania's 177th commencement ceremony. I would like to begin my remarks with a special thank you to our faculty members for their hard work and dedication on behalf of our students. You have demonstrated your commitment to teaching, mentoring, and challenging our students, and we thank you for all your contributions. Please, faculty members, stand and be recognized at this time. Thank you. Like so many others gathered here today, I am very proud to be associated with California University. This great institution has been a part of my life, and now that you are master's candidates from the School of Graduate Studies and Research will enter the alumni phase of your association with CalU, I encourage you to remain close with your alma mater. Your fellow alumni and the professors and staff members who have made a difference in your life. Please know that I am very proud of you for your hard work and the sacrifices you have made to reach this point. I know that you will continue to work hard as you enter this new phase of life as a master's graduate. As I am sure your parents and loved ones are fond of advising you, life isn't always easy and it rarely goes smoothly. But you have important work ahead of you. The work of building a meaningful life and contributing as a member of this global society that we live in. I am very much aware of the role each of you will play in the future of our country and our world. It is up to you as knowledgeable, purposeful, and caring human beings to help change lives, reshape communities, and make the world a better place. Each of us has a responsibility to care for our fellow man. So I ask you to lead the way. No matter what career path you choose, those special moments you spend time, taking time to understand, help and, and mentor others, will shape you into an even greater human being. Remember the words of the late Nelson Mandela, a good head and a good heart are always a formidable combination. As CalU graduates, each of you will take a different path in life. There will be many opportunities open to you and many decisions to make. In some instances, you may be charting untraveled waters. Embrace those times. Each day will bring new experiences, including some you would rather avoid. But each one will enhance your character, help determine your future, and add another page to your life story. Elizabeth Blackwell, the first woman to receive an MD from an American medical school, noted, it is not easy to be a pioneer, but oh, is it fascinating. I would not trade one moment, even the worst moment, for all the riches in the world. I encourage you to have this same kind of attitude. Be confident. Appreciate your talents and gifts and follow your dreams. Live your life vibrantly and enjoy every step of your journey. As you prepare to walk across the stage this evening, please pause, take in the moment, and savor your success. You have worked hard, you have persevered, and you have accomplished something significant. Please think of your parents, family members, and friends 
who helped you and encouraged you along the way. Give those special people an extra hug today and let them know how much their encouragement, love, and support means to you. All of us here at Cal U are trustees, administrators, faculty and staff, and your fellow alumni are proud of you and your achievements. We offer our heartfelt congratulations to every one of you. May your life be filled with continued success and abundant joy. Congratulations. Thank you. It is my distinct pleasure to introduce tonight's guest speaker, Mr. Dante Morelli, class of 2002. Mr. Morelli earned a bachelor's degree in communication studies, summa cum laude, in 2002. While at Cal U, he was a student member of the Council of Trustees and president of the Student Association Incorporated. Mr. Morelli went on to earn a master's degree in corporate and professional communication at Radford University in Virginia. He accepted a teaching position at Suffolk County Community College in New York, where he was an assistant professor of communication studies. After four years of teaching, Mr. Morelli took two years of leave from his position to pursue a doctorate in communication at Ohio University in Athens, Ohio. He now has returned to Suffolk, where he remains active in his teaching department and the college community while nearing the completion of his dissertation for the PhD. Mr. Morelli also is an active member of the California University Alumni Association and is serving his third term on the Board of Directors. Please join me now in welcoming Mr. Dante Morelli. Good evening. Thank you, Provost Barnhart. Thank you, President Jones. Welcome to all of you and to you, the class of 2013. I'm going to begin with a language lesson. In Spanish, they say, somo familia. The Greeks say, eco yaya. The Italians say, siamo uno familia. And to our brothers and sisters from South Africa who are mourning the death of their beloved leader, Nelson Mandela, in Afrikaans, ons is family. We, those all translate to us being a family. Now, we're obviously not family by blood, but we are family by intellect and by knowledge. Consider us a part of a family of scholars. You earning your master's degree places you in this privileged class. The journeys you have taken to arrive at this point were probably not easy. Some of you took a risk, both in your career and personal life. You probably faced great adversity in the pursuit of your education. And your stories are powerful. Maybe you took on more debt and made great sacrifices. Perhaps you left you, your home in the early morning to go to work, then to come to campus to take an evening class and you were tired, then to get home late at night and to see that you just missed the kids because they're tucked away in bed. Perhaps you passed on going out to socialize with friends and family to spend a little bit more time trying to complete the research project or that paper. Maybe you missed weddings, birthday parties, other life moments, and you asked, just what did I do? What did I get myself into? Perhaps you lost a job in the recession, only to take the great risk of re-entering a classroom to retain and educate, excuse me, to retrain and educate your, yourself 
in a field that would make you more competitive and marketable in the workplace. Regardless of your narrative, you're here and you made it. I mentioned that a master's degree places you in a privileged class. In fact, only about 10% of Americans have advanced degrees. That's actually a better approval rating than the United States Congress. I can relate a lot to your narratives. I earned my master's degree and I had, fortunately for me, two job opportunities. A teaching position, or selling life insurance in Roanoke, Virginia. I think I made the better decision. Upon taking my teaching position, I thought, okay, this will last a few years and then I'll move on to probably a corporate job. But I soon learned that being in the classroom was home for me. And after four years of teaching, I decided to advance my education and take another gamble. I was one year away from tenure and I went back to graduate school to pursue the work for my PhD. Being back in the classroom as a student was intimidating and I thought that my ideas, my writing, my research, well, it just wasn't good enough. But with persistence, you plow ahead and you find out that you are of worth and that you do have the capabilities to succeed. Two years after finishing all of my coursework and passing my exams, I returned to Suffolk County Community College. In all of that time, I found the classroom to be a meaningful place. I have incredible fun teaching every day. Believe me, I do have my days. Students who don't turn in their work, maybe sometimes they're unmotivated, but at the end of the day, I am truly happy. I remember being a senior here at the college in May of 2002, and right down the road uh, on 3rd Street, sitting in our apartment, I said to one of my great friends, Jared Chow, we were talking about our lives and reminiscing about our great times here at Cal U, and I said, you know, if being a college student for the rest of my life paid $35,000 a year, I would do it. <laughs> well. I never thought that I would find myself on the other side of the desk teaching in a classroom. I didn't know at the time that I was really thinking about what it is that I wanted to do. Steve Jobs said in his 2005 commencement address at Stanford University that you cannot connect the dots moving forward. You can only connect the dots looking backwards. And looking back, I am so grateful and fortunate that I am in a field that I truly enjoy and cherish. I didn't realize it at the time, but my experiences here at California University of Pennsylvania taught me, well, I really do love the classroom. So now I currently live on Long Island, New York, and when I first moved there, it was a, cha it was a, it was a challenge trying to uh, navigate a very different culture, different from Western Pennsylvania. Let's be honest. New Yorkers can be, well, a little direct, sometimes abrasive in their communication, and definitely overly aggressive on the roads. But they're just like us. They have big hearts. And while I find myself living in a New York state of mind, when I come back to Western Pennsylvania, I feel at home, much like I do when I'm in the classroom. But Western Pennsylvania and New York share a great commonality. The steel that was used to construct the Empire State Building in Midtown Manhattan came from the steel mills of Pittsburgh. In fact, when it arrived in the city of Manhattan, it was too warm to be erected. That's a powerful metaphor for us. We can go anywhere. We can do anything, even though we may not be the most visible group of people. Coming from Western Pennsylvania and being a graduate of California University of Pennsylvania, we find our place, we find our home, and we show the world 
how incredibly strong we are. I mentioned happiness early in my address. And that's the biggest challenge facing many of us today. Perhaps a graduate degree was the first of many steps to your pursuit of happiness. I know some people in my life who make way more money than I do. But when I talk to them about being fulfilled, engaged, stimulated, and happy, they refer back to how much money they make. Bottom line, they are, they are unfulfilled and unhappy. So the question is, what will you do? What's next? Yes, statistically, you will make more money than someone with less education. But what does that mean? Will you be happy? What contributions will you make? I saw in the program that John Lennon is a part of the program tonight. Excellent choice. So I'm going to leave you with a quotation by John Lennon. He stated that when I was five years old, my mother always told me that happiness was the key to life. When I went to school, they asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up. I wrote down happy. They told me I didn't understand the assignment, and I told them that they didn't understand life. I wish you all the best in your endeavors and in your pursuit of happiness. Never, ever settle for mediocrity. Thank you and congratulations. The University Choir will now present another selection for your listening enjoyment, Let It Be, by John Lennon and Paul McCartney. With a description of the academic hood and presenting the candidates for the degrees of Master of Arts, Master of Arts Teaching, Master of Education, Master of Science, Master of Science in Nursing, and Master of Social Work is Dr. Stanley Kamasik, Dean of the School of Graduate Studies and Research.
President Jones, members of the Council of Trustees, Mr. Morelli, members of the stage party, faculty, family, guest, and most importantly, graduate candidates. On behalf of the graduate faculty, I wish to thank all of our graduate candidates for pursuing their academic endeavors at California University of Pennsylvania. At its core, a university is about teaching and learning, and the lives of both students and faculty are certainly enriched in the process. We thank you and congratulate you on your achievements. Special congratulations to the candidates wearing honors cords and pins, which signify completion of graduate work at California University of Pennsylvania with a cumulative grade point average of at least 3.75. Congratulations to those. <laughs> Candidate, commencement is a beginning, a time for you to look forward to new opportunities made possible through your academic achievements. To celebrate your achievement, we look back and honor centuries old traditions with our dress and ceremony. Historians trace the origins of our academic dress back to the 12th century when universities first developed and scholars, both students and teachers, wore the dress of a cleric. Caps, gowns, and hoods may originally have been worn for warmth in unheated buildings, but as universities developed, official standards for academic regalia were established. The hood is the most expressive element of our dress, denoting the owner's school, academic discipline, and degree. The school conferring the degree is designated by the colors on the inside of the hood. As you can see in this hood, the sample colors for California University of Pennsylvania, red and black. The academic discipline of the wearer is identified by this three inch wide band of color, in this case, gold and yellow, which signifies the field of science. Currently, by intercollegiate inter code, there are more than two dozen officially designated colors. The length of the hood denotes the degree earned. The master's degree hood is three and one half feet long, the bachelor's hood is three feet long, and the doctor's hood four feet. Our hooding ceremony also continues centuries old traditions. It will begin when the Herald, Dr. Kate Mitchum, announces each candidate. As Dean of the Graduate School, I'll have the privilege of vesting each candidate with the academic hood as a symbolic gesture of your transition from student to master. Once vested, you present yourself to the president of the university in full academic regalia to be honored for your significant rite of passage. Candidates, as you go forward into the future, I hope you will recall fondly this important day when we honored your achievements by honoring long-standing academic traditions. The degree candidates from the School of Graduate Studies and Research will rise, please. President Jones, the following persons have completed all the requirements for the degree of Master of Arts, Master of Arts Teaching, Master of Education, Master of Science, Master of Science in Nursing, and Master of Social Work. They have been approved by the graduate faculty and are presented for these degrees. Dr. Mitchum, will you please announce the specific curriculum and candidates? Master of Arts, the Social Science Curriculum, Victoria Ann Collins. Melissa Ann Kuyper. Edward J. McSheffery. Thank you. 
Verna May Minard. Thank you. Reagan Ann Moore. Thank you. Stephen J. Schaefer. Master of Arts Teaching, Mallory K. McHugh. Master of Education, the Administration Program for K-12 Principals Program, Nicole Sherry Burson Belcher. Eric Thomas Meredith. Caitlin Elizabeth Saylor. Scott Michael Scariot. Jennifer Lynn Werner. The Elementary Education Curriculum, Casey R. Buckter. Sarah Rebecca Cabana. Thank you. Nicholas John Joyce. Thank you. Christine Schaefer. Alison N. Troutman. The Elementary Special Education Dual Certification Curriculum, Patricia Ann Rentich. Jennifer M. Talley. The Mentally Physically Handicapped Curriculum, Heather Ann Williams. The Reading Specialist Curriculum, Gwenna Kathleen Coakley. Mandy Marie Mangan, Sarah Elizabeth Nee, Kelly Ann Polvinelli, Abigail P. Roy, Alexandra Lee Ullum. Nicole R. Van Horn. The School Counseling Curriculum, Jamie Lee Andrews. Kayla Nicole Bursick. Matthew T. Byron. Sonia Johanna Floystad. Alicia Taryn Foley, Sally Elizabeth Groves, Ashley Victoria Haggerty, Megan Crimebrook McHugh, Anna Lee Morich. Deirdre Lynn Moot. Sherry Lynn O'Donnell. Master of Science, the Business Administration Curriculum, Lee Ann Bella. Lindsay Ann Aston Bisking. Krista Marie Dieter Masso, Bethany Lynn Hull, Javid Huduk Royav, Danielle Luckett, Heather Anna Mackin. Dewey Dupree McDonald. Bryce Myers. Jason C. Knoll. Edward S. Parquette.
Susan Deneen Shoemaker, Austin Francis Stoddard, Andrea L. Welsh, The Clinical Mental Health Counseling Curriculum, Maxine Ellis. Michael Andrew Lash. Melissa R. Lather. Georgia Ann Minor. Alison B. Novorosky. <laughs> Kerry Lynn Spohr. <laughs> Tierra A. Wynn. <laughs> the Community and Agency Counseling Curriculum, Paul Ann Thomas. The Exercise Science and Health Pro Promotion Curriculum, Morgan J. Albright. Jordan Lane Anderson. Rachel Elizabeth Andrews. Krista L. Ankeny. Brandy Lynn Bennett. Drew A. Brown. Joshua Harlow Bookbinder. Tamara Bianca Birch. Ashley Duncan Cannon. Lorraine Crystal Chandler. Karen A. Clanton Perry. Erica Nicole Coffey. Ayana Lynn Coleman. Rudy Corpus. Andrew John Kubison. Myron Javel Dent. Christine A. Dovnarski. Lilia Drew. Gail Marina Gibbs. Jennifer Bear Johnson. Tracy C. Matthews. Justin M. McQuality. Sergio David Marino. Christopher R. Miller. Val Vala Monastim Belter. Philip Michael Morgan. Christopher Matthew Pellegrino. Michael Donovan Piercy. Catherine Gavora Ryinga. Matthew D. Shively. Caitlin E. Sippel. Andrew M. Smith. Damien Nicholas Solis. Donna Marie Stoddard. William Scott Streitfeld. 
Amy Michelle Stucho. Gabrielle Stiles. Christine Allaire Taylor. Aaron Steele Thomason. Kanidra Sharice Tucker. Benjamin Vasquez Nenadich. Nancy Monica Wenberg. Legal Studies, Law and Public Policy Curriculum, Courtney E. Cochran. Lieutenant Colonel Ross L. Gammon IV. Miranda L. Hoyt. Justin J. Matisic. Michael James Spirito. The School Sky Psychology Curriculum, Courtney Ray Chasco. Gina Marie Yvonne. Ryan Reese Gallagher. Ashley Annette Johnson. Morgan Ashley Loff. Matthew A. Metcalf. Mark Robert Merman. Barbara Ann Richardson. The Sport Management Studies Curriculum, James Botti. Nicholas Franklin Haswell. Stephen Robert Oberly III. Brian David Stanchak. Joy L. Stanley. Master of Science in Nursing, Denise Michelle Bouya. Stacy Marie Chapelle Biggs. Jessica Lynn Davis. Jacqueline P. Davis. Michelle Renee De Lucenti. Robin Renee Klasnick. Amy N. Kiefer. Cheryl Joanne Lottie. Kathleen L. McCartney. Lydia Marie Reed. Pamela Sue Roslick. Deborah Schweitzer. Amy Beth Safranco. Lisa Jo Spagnolo. Sherry L. Yankosek. Master of Social Work, Stephanie Marie Brashear. Joseph L. Burgess. Danielle Elizabeth Carolla. Paul Matthew Dalton.
Felicia Ann Hunter. Mary Grace Cosport. Haley Jean Langley. Tina Marie McClee. Julianne Sutton. Hannah Marie Yoga. President Jones, several candidates have requested to graduate in absentia. Their names are listed in the program. Madam President, the candidates who have been presented to you have been certified by the faculty and the dean as having fulfilled all the requirements for the degrees of Master of Arts, Master of Arts Teaching, Master of Education, Master of Science, Master of Science in Nursing, and Master of Social Work. I recommend that the degrees be conferred. By the power vested in me, by the Board of Governors of the Pennsylvania State System of Higher Education, I hereby confer the degrees of Master of Arts, Master of Arts Teaching, Master of Education, Master of Science, Master of Science in Nursing, and Master of Social Work with all the rights, honors, and privileges which throughout the world pertain to that degree. Master's graduates, be seated please. At this time, I ask that those members of the graduating class who are active military or a veteran, please stand so that we may say thank you for your selfless service to our country. <laughs> to all our graduates, congratulations. You have our very best wishes for a wonderful future. Be safe and take care and visit us often. In conclusion, we will now sing the first verse of the alma mater, after which Reverend Quisenberry will present the benediction. I ask that the audience remain in their seats following the benediction and until the end of the recessional. Thank you.
May God bless you and keep you, and in grateful response, may you love with passionate action, continue to pursue both knowledge and wisdom, and live lives of excellence and service, so that peace may be your constant companion and joy your life's song. Amen. Oh.